So now in this video, we're going to look at an interesting component here. This is the LM334. It is an adjustable current source. And so zooming in, we have for the pin layout, flat side is facing us, which should be pretty clear. The left pin is the V plus pin, and uh, the middle pin is the R pin, and the right pin is the V minus pin. And so you can see V minus I have connected directly to ground. Our load is going to come from the positive rail. We don't even need a load. We can just go directly from positive rail to the V plus pin. But uh, in any case, we're going to set a resistor between the R pin and the V minus pin to control how much current is going to go through this component. So now to set the current, we take the resistor set it from R to the uh, V minus and the value of the resistor sets the current so this is a 100 ohm resistor let's zoom back first let's get some voltage readings so first we will get the power supply that's coming to the rail I have my bench power supply set to about 18 volts Here you can see it's about 18 volts so let's zoom in so we can get a better look here and that looks good there. Let's go and uh, remove the positive side and set it right here so it's to the V plus pin right there. So right now current is flowing through there based on the resistor but we're interested in the voltage across the resistor because we're going to use low value resistors which is usually kind of scary but as you can see there's only 0 0.064 volts across the resistor so very little current and uh, very little voltage, very little current. So all it's doing is looking at how much current is getting through the resistor so that it knows the value of the resistor basically. So there's a lot of uh, math included on the uh, data sheet that explains it all, but that's the main takeaway. So in any case, 100 ohm resistor. Let's set this to measure milliamps of current. That's amps, so milliamps, right there. And I made sure to limit the current from the uh, power supply so that uh, even if we short circuit something, let's take a look here, uh, don't measure the power supply directly unless you're absolutely sure that you limited the current. But if you can limit the current, do that because right there we're measuring the power supply and it's limited to a safe value for the meter. We can go up to 900 and 99 milliamps safely. So, in any case, let's measure the current. So we're going, I'll go from the positive rail. I'm going to zoom in though so we can see a little bit better. So positive rail to the V plus pin. And uh, we have about 68, 69 milliamps of current right there. So that's with a 100 ohm resistor and that's the current it's letting through so we're going to yank that resistor out we're going to grab a 10 ohm resistor so again wiring it to a R and the V minus and let's uh, zoom back a little bit there we go I think that looks a little bit better so again red probe is going to go to the positive rail and then we'll measure the uh, current and uh, so you see it's one tenth of the resistance so now we have 10 times the current. There is going to be some more current though as the component warms up. So it'll level off at some point. But uh, that's just something to be aware of. Current's going to go up slightly. So this might be an okay amount of uh, current. And I want a little bit more though. You should limit it to 10 milliamps of current. So let's yank that resistor out. And this is a 7.5 ohm resistor and uh, so a little less resistance should give us a little more current and uh, so red probes going to the positive rail again and then this one's going to the V plus pin and there you can see uh, 9 milliamps current and it's going to kind of creep up to 10 milliamps so in any case let's uh, zoom back you may have noticed a bunch of LEDs sitting here earlier that's because we're going to start putting them in series. So as always with LEDs, for them to light up, the long lead the anode needs to go towards the positive side of the power supply. Short lead the cathode towards the negative side. 
and we're just going to keep popping these in series and so it's an 18 volt power supply and uh, so we're going to get a number of them and uh, there we go there's a connection so current's holding steady even though we added an LED and uh, the LLM334 is going to warm up so it's going to go up a bit but uh, in any case so you know set it a little bit lower than what you're going to need but uh, there again we have the same current other than a little more as it heats up and again there it is again another one in series it's going to be almost all of these I think uh, I think the last three will be where we finally see a voltage drop there we go 9.2 still holding and so yeah this is a pretty pretty neat component that's why I bought it and I didn't get this from a kit or something I actually looked for adjustable current sources and so far this has been the for a single component something simple like this they're about a dollar each I think probably just a tad bit more it's a pretty cool component so let's see I think it's still I think it went down just a tiny bit right there with that LED okay no it's still holding steady the component just cooled down from what I remember there we go and now it dropped quite a bit and the last one it's gonna really wipe it out so we're probably at the voltage drop of the uh, entire power supply so uh, that's really it it's really easy just uh, keep trying out uh, resistors until you get the uh, current that you want but keep it below 10 milliamps of course review the data sheet for all the specifications so in any case hopefully you enjoyed this video Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.